Breaking overnight after billions of dollars, years of work, months of delays, and lots of anticipation, this has finally happened. NASA launching its massive SLS rocket, beginning the Artemis I mission that could pave the way for humans to return to the lunar surface. And we have live team coverage for you this morning. Mark Lehman has reaction from launch watchers in moments. But we start with James Barvero, live at Kennedy Space Center. James, just an amazing moment for spaceflight. I think all that anticipation had even built up in the reporters and photographers here at Kennedy Space Center, Justin. It was some of the loudest cheering I've heard from people working a launch at the time. Here's how NASA called the launch at 1.47 this morning. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. That's Daryl Nail, a former space reporter. NASA tells us in a press conference that's wrapping up right about now that the mission has gone great so far, mostly everything going according to plan with Orion going to the moon and the rocket itself, the space launch system with its 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust performing outstanding. There have been some minor hiccups in flight. Listen to this. We've had a few funnies along the way. We had some dropouts in the flight instrumentation on the, um, on the SLS rocket. We've had some funnies in some um, um, in the uh, star trackers, and then we had some funnies in some micro switches on the solar array wings. But the systems are performing, and, and we are pressing outbound toward the moon. Toward the moon, and Orion should get there about next week. After five days of coasting at 18,000 miles per hour, Orion will take that orbit around the moon. And then on day 26 of the mission, about day 25 and a half, 26, give or take, it re enters the Earth's atmosphere entering Earth's atmosphere at 5,000 degrees, twice the heat of the sun, at a speed of 25,000 miles per hour, the fastest re-entry ever. That will test the systems for safety of the astronauts who will be on board starting with Artemis II. That launch about two years away. For right now, it's all celebrations here at Kennedy Space Center. Finally, Artemis I gets off the ground. The key word is finally. Thank you, James.